All right, I get a lot of questions on the phone. How do I set up my sway bar, Daryl? How do I know if I have weight in it? How do I know? Um, I don't have, you know, $1,000 worth of comp scales to, to, to check it. Um, nice level shop floor here like this. Air the tires up to a certain pressure that you want to run. It's 10 in the back, 8 in the rear, or whatever you want to run. As long as you know it's what you normally run for air pressure. Um, I tape the tires to make sure the tires are the same diameter because that affects what we're doing here also. And what the next thing is to do is to get a neutral sway bar setting. The simplest way to do it is the other side I'm using the second from the back hole and I'm doing the same thing on this side is we should be able to take this sway bar link here. We should be able to stick it through this hole without pulling or pushing on the torsion bar. So what we're looking at here is we just stick this thing in there, push it in, that's a neutral sway bar setting. It's the easiest way to do it without having the scales. If there was weight in the sway bar, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I would have, this arm would be longer or shorter, or I have to pull on the arm or push on the arm to get that to drop through there. This pushes right through like that. That's a neutral sway bar. You know, this, this one would be, I consider this one number six hole. This would be the number one hole. Again, the stiffest setting and the softest setting. Most body roll, least body roll. Sure. A lot of times I get the same question you know, on the phone is, I was at a, at a race this weekend, Daryl, and going into the turn, I had a lot of body roll. I couldn't control it. You know, it's picking up the inside tire, and what can I do to fix that? Real easy. Um, what, would you, what I would do if I was at the track and I was having that problem, I would just take it in simple movement here. I would get your sway bar, and if I was in the second position where a lot of guys run or whatever you decide to run, I'd just move it as far forward towards the pivot place, pivot part, you know, to shorten up your leverage, to make the leverage, you know, basically what we're doing is increasing the, the rate of the sway bar by getting it closer to the pivot point, making it stiffer. So all you got to do is move it forward on, on the vehicle. And right here I can't because I have them on the other side because it would be put in preload in it by doing that. But when you do it, you do it together. You always have these, if you're in the first hole or the last hole or anything in between, you always use the same from side to side. For more information, you can contact us at 320-234-7223 at or our Wrath Racing Facebook page or on our website, wrathracing.com. And any questions you got, whatever it takes, send us email, whatever it takes, and we'll be glad to help you, and we'll talk to you soon. Seventeen, eighteen years at least. In fact, like, can I get on the line? Twenty guys. It's awesome. We're in the pro class, pro am class, and the pro am I'm Been racing since I was fifteen years old. Been uh, racing ATVs now for twenty-six years.